Welcome to Tech Notice, guys. In this episode, we're checking out a stabilizer. Uh, do, do you have, have you been in this situation where you're looking at gimbals online and you're like, oh my goodness, this is so expensive, 500 quid, 600,000 pounds. But I have a solution for you. Yelangu S60, S60T. I've got it out of the box already, so there's there's not not like you know the unboxing part. But we will skip that on this episode. But just to show you what it is, what what it comes with, um, is you can get the, you get this nice little bag, and then I've put some weights in there so that, that I won't lose them. But you've got some weights. You got six weights. Two of them that are like skinny ones, and then the other ones are twice as thick. As you can see, yeah. So, um, I've used these, um, this gimbal, I mean, the stabilizer, glide cam, you know, whatever people want to call it, um, on a, a Sony A7S1 and 2. So, that's why I found that just having these thicker, two thicker weights in the bottom is a perfect amount of weight. So, that's why this is it. Also, as you can see, there's like a little extra thing on the top. What is that? Why do you need another one of these? Well, look. Um, you can get this off. I've got this on top of this. What is this? Well, this is a quick release plate that is compatible with like Manfrotto things. So I've got these on everything that I have on different tripods, uh, sliders. Because I have only one fluid head, then I have this even on bottom of the fluid head. Um, I have them everywhere. So whatever I take my camera, I can literally just pop it in and tighten it if you want to check them out this is in the description as well so this is a good way to just kind of save money on on things if you if you want to quickly uh, choose between let's say this stabilizer glide cam to the tripod or monopod or another tripod or slider or whatever and uh, then you just literally pop it in pop it out that's it very quick and easy that's why i've added this on top of this uh, plate already this Yelanga one, which is actually they say that this is carbon fiber as you can see It's got a nice little texture over here, which they say is carbon fiber. So it's um, When it's the tallest This should be 60 centimeters and this should be 34 so Also a nice little thing what you have here Which I didn't know at first is that these little knobs or tightening knobs especially this one here when you pull them up and then move them, you can get to the better angle to tighten, tighten it up. So, uh, do you want to show, see how this works? You've got nice little uh, soft grip handle here as well. Quite, quite thick that fits nicely around your hand. Like that. So, let's stabilize, I mean, let's balance. Let's balance the camera on this. And then let's shoot some clips, shall we? Okay, let's do it. Okay, so. Just uh, for the sake of showing you how this all works, we've got a different camera, Canon camera, uh, here that I've never balanced on this before. So everything is out of balance, out of settings. So how it worked with me first is because I have the quick release plate on top, I've got a quick release that I need to put underneath the camera. Okay, and tighten this up. Now, I'm never gonna use to tighten anything from the top ever again. So I'm tightening it up and I'm not gonna change this one. I'm only gonna change the bottom one because it's more precise and it moves easier and it's easier to move around. So the first thing is you don't need to worry about the top of the camera at all. So what you need to do is get the right um, kind of swing or the weight on the bottom so that it's, it, it's, it's equal to the top of the camera. Because this is so much more heavier than the Sony A7S cameras, I'm going to need to put some more weights down there. Just before I do that, I'm going to check if this weight is enough. Is There's two ways to add weight to the bottom of the camera. One is to add literally weights to the bottom of the camera. The other one is to lift it or like make it longer because that gets you the, the weight balance goes further down, which means it kind of goes heavier and starts just balancing up the top of the camera. So let me see this. Okay, wait. Oh, actually, this was a, it should actually work. So I don't need to add any more of the weights because, okay, 
it should be about two, two seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Okay, that's about right. I can, I can change it later as well. So I'm gonna leave it to that height. Usually how I do it is I'm gonna put it, put the camera on a flat ground and then I just lift it up. And now I can see that the camera is front heavy. So that means I'm gonna take the camera back. Now it's side heavy. That means that I need to move it the other way. So you're gonna just do it until the whole camera is balanced. Now I have my camera balanced. As you can see, if I, if I lift it up, it's balanced. It is balanced. One more actually little fault I did, what I realize now is that I left the lens cap on. Always make sure that you have the batteries in and your vocal length set to the right distance. If you have a zoom lens, if you have a prime, then it doesn't matter uh, because that is all different weight on different places. So now most likely my camera is out of balance because, because I have removed some of the balance from the front. So. As you can see, it's a little bit back heavy now. You see that little lens cap? That was all that mattered. So let's move it back in front. Camera stays in the same place. So what I have here is not a very new camera. Canon 60D is rather old. Um, quite a naff lens really. But what is the footage like when I shoot with this? Well, let's go and find out. What I have here is I have the optical stabilizer. I'm gonna have it on as well and manual focus. So the lens is gonna, you know, do a little bit of the stabilizing itself as well. So let's go and shoot some footage. Okay guys, here we are in a graveyard, trying to get some nice shots, showing you how can you use this one. As you can see, you know, you can get some pretty cool shots when it's stabilized. Now let's gonna, just gonna walk around and try to get some shots um, with this and then show you what it's like and then also compare it to when Oliver is shooting handheld the same same shots and I'm using this one for the same shot and comparing the two together see what it's like so shall we go now here Oliver let's just go that way straight on next shot what we're gonna try to do is take a shot from this bush and go up to the cross and pan back a little bit. Okay, here we are back guys now from shooting with a little bit with this Steadicam. Um, let me just, uh, if you don't know what Steadicam is and you're still watching this video thinking, um, what is this thing, what does it do? Well, I hope you actually already had your answer or got your answer from that video when we shot with this because that kind of answers everything, it's self-explanatory. But if you're still wondering, let me just do you a quick uh, little tutorial what is a glide cam a glide cam basically is a system where you balance your camera on this little system here that actually counteracts your all your body movements that keeps the camera still so if my <clears throat> my hand goes up or down see this here this keeps the camera still or if my hands go this way it keeps my cam the camera still or if my hand moves a little bit this way then it keeps the camera still. It's basically like X, Y, and Z, you know, like three axis gimbal, gimbal. That's it. So this is what a glide cam is. So now when we come <clears throat> back, you can see that it's pretty cool. Like what you can like these still, sh uh, how smooth the movement is. Obviously I've got to tell you that it was very windy outside, which means that 
a lot of the time the wind was blowing um, my glide cam this way and that way and this way and so it was quite tricky to keep it straight <coughs> like that um, but I'm pretty impressed by what you can do with just this glide cam it's only like 80 pounds or something on Amazon which uh, you can find the links in the description to check this out um, and you can get similar kind of results as you would with a gimbal um, or you know like Zhi Hoon Crane which we would love to have uh, but um, if you don't have that kind of money 500 quid then this would be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much guys for watching this episode of Tech Notice. This was Yelango S60T Glide Cam. You can find the links in the description as I said before. And we just want to say thank you for watching this episode. If you think this was good, just give it a thumbs up in the section below. And write a comment if you think, oh, you have questions. Well, do not leave the questions below and we'd love to help you or, you know, find answers to your questions. That's what, we, what we're doing here. If you have any suggestions, do the same, leave a comment below. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you subscribe? Because when we reach 100 subscribers, we will do a giveaway. If you, you know, wanna make sure that we do that, there's a video also that you can find on our channel about the giveaway. So, subscribe that way. There's some videos over this side and thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one, bye.